Well, today's video is going to be a little bit different because I'm sitting behind my computer here and uh, recording the screen. And we're going to be talking about costs and where I get parts because I thought that might be a little bit interesting. So um, first things first, we uh, I, I did keep all the resources, all, um, all the receipts and um, totaled them all up. Uh, Terry and I talked about the project before we started and we agreed on a budget of $4,500 and you can see here that we've spent about $4,151 so far. Project's done so we're a little bit under budget which is a good thing. I also kept track of who I bought everything from and that's part of what I want to talk about today. So. Um, a good place, if you're not sure where to find things, or if you got really any sort of a question, is this I Hate Mud forum. And uh, I'm a member here, and I uh, pretty much post my questions on this 40 and 55 series tech forum. Um, but this is actually a source for parts, too. Um, people that have projects done, have leftover parts, will sell them here. But even if you can't find parts here, you can often find... Um, find people who know where to get things that you can't find. So before you give up or before you pay too much for something, um, ask out here. Um, if even if you're modifying your 40 or 50 or you're a newer Land Cruiser, this is a place to get other people's experiences about how their um, modifications are going, like if you're putting a V8 in it or something like that. Okay. Let's go back to the spreadsheet and um, you see here that I've ordered, I used Amazon and eBay quite a bit. And so let's start there and talk about how I use these two sites. Um, in eBay, I typically used it for um, to order things that were small, inexpensive um, commodity items like uh, metric nuts and bolts and plastic parts and uh, heater hose and but probably the most important thing I got was the material for the headliner because it was a really high quality thing that I found out here and it was much cheaper than um, the specialty Land Cruiser websites we're going to be talking about in a few minutes. You can see here that um, I can buy this headliner material, uh, upholstery material that's for a, uh, a Sea Ray boat at $20 a yard. I need three yards to do this, so if you throw in shipping, it was something like $80 to get uh, the headliner material. That's roughly a third of the cost of a headliner from the Land Cruiser specialty stops shops. Um, okay, Amazon. So Amazon is a similar sort of a thing and I use it again for mostly parts that aren't specific to FJ40s like this um, window locking gasket which is actually a generic product that's the same in Land Cruisers as it is in every other vehicle that has flat glass from the era and um, because it's Amazon it comes in a few days comes right to the house uh, Amazon Prime covers the shipping and so uh, you, buy, you can also buy it by the foot now, if you need real parts, real Toyota OEM parts, because uh, an aftermarket part won't do, and a generic part won't do, and a used part won't do, then um, this is what I found is a decent source. There's probably others like it, but ToyotaPartsDeal.com seem to have good prices and good availability, even for a 50-year-old FJ40. Um, the weather strip's a good example of where you really just need to get an OEM part because it's a unique profile. It's not standard for cars, and um, aftermarket stuff often is low quality or isn't cut right. And uh, here the price was reasonable, so I went OEM. Um, I ordered several other unique parts like that, like the ignition switch, to make sure that the keys would work the same. And... Um, there's a couple of tips I wanted to point out. The first is be sure to enter your vehicle details. And I do mean all of them, the body style and uh, date of production, because there are mid-year changes in FJ40s and other Land Cruisers. And this site got all of that right. Um, it matched everything right. Um, other sites like Napa and O'Reilly and Amazon and eBay, they mostly get it right, but they aren't into the little details 
like mid-year product mid-year model changes um, the eBay site in particular was kind of sketchy and uh, if you even if it says it fits double check it triple check it make sure it's right so the last thing I'd want to, you should do with these guys is take this part number and before you order do a availability check and that's buried in the site it's a little hard to find and it looks like you're clicking on a thing to create a generic email with a question but it isn't you can just uh, push that radio button there and uh, enter your name and email address and the part number and send it off and they will actually go look and make sure it's in the warehouse and they can send it right away to you and I would because these are old parts that have probably been sitting in that warehouse for years and years I would really recommend you do that to make sure that before you order you're really going to get it okay so let's talk about the regular Land Cruiser accessory parts specialists and the first and biggest one is Spectre Offroad and um, really the best thing about these guys is they've been in business forever and they carry virtually everything there is to carry on a Toyota Land Cruiser that includes OEM parts, aftermarket parts, uh, accessories, uh, things for modifications um, I got a, a reproduction of the uh, owner's manual for a 71 Land Cruiser from these guys they, they had it, it was $14 um, but like I say, most of their things, the prices tend to be kind of high, but on the other side of the coin, they have it. They also have a, must have a salvage yard because they also sell used parts. And um, it's an okay source for used parts, but you've got to pay shipping, and shipping for used parts of any size can be pretty stiff. And I have a better idea for that coming up here in a minute after we, after we move off of Spectre Off-Road. We're going to talk about... Um, Cool Cruisers of Texas, which is a um, similar sort of a place. They've been in business for quite a few years. I particular I've used them on a couple of projects now, and I particularly like their metal, their bodywork repair panels. You can get whole rear quarter panels, which is a really common rusty spot, or you can just get the the curve in the corner lower lower back corner that rusts out, and um, you can get um, replacement gas tanks, um, seat belts, things like that. Um, you can get tail lights and turn signal lights that are an exact match for your year. Those changed like almost every year because of safety regulations. Um, again, they're not the cheapest in town. Their prices are maybe a little better than Spectre's, but um, not a lot. Now, before we go on to the next site here, I wanted to, we're going to quick have a look at this, which is um, brake cylinders. I needed these for a car, and I had trouble for this car for this project, and I had trouble finding them. You'll see these are out of stock, and um, that's because the OEM um, versions of these wheel cylinders are just not available. Toyota to stopped making them, um, and they're starting to get expensive. A set of four at 140 bucks, but after a lot of searching, I found these guys. They're called City Racer, and they do have them, and they're aftermarket, but they're similar quality, and you can actually get them. And so I would um, put on my list of resources this City Racer, even though it's a little off the beaten path, and uh, they don't show up in a lot of searches. I did order almost all of the things um, the things I needed for the brakes and the clutch from them. Um, they also tend to specialize in oh, like adapter parts for particular types of modifications that people with FJ40s like to do. So City Racer, keep them in mind as, a, as an option. You know, I should point out that I'm not getting any um, sponsor. You know, nobody's sponsoring me or asked me to do this. This is just the sources I used for parts on this project. And um, what I'm showing here is sort of the oddball parts that City Racer can sell, like amber light bulbs that are that look just like the originals, and a 16-inch steel wheel that uh, fits where the factory 15s used to go, or um, a new set of stickers for your air cleaner if you're doing a really high-end restoration and you need everything to be brand new and exactly right. They've got reproduction stickers. 
Um, they're, like I say, a little off the beaten path, but um, a good resource for these sort of unusual things. The next thing I want to talk about here is um, after uh, used parts. And what I would recommend is um, go find a uh, salvage yard that has a that specializes in land cruisers and uh, get to know them because there's a lot of place a lot of times when a used part is the best part. Um, partly because a new one would be prohibitively expensive or just flat not available, and um, it's just going to be the best choice. And and for me, a perfect example was the front seats. I um, wanted to get rid of the factory bucket seats that are not, I'm sorry, the after, somebody put bucket seats for some American car in this Land Cruiser. I wanted to go back to the factory bench seat and I wanted it to be an exact match for the model year, a 71. And because emissions were changing every year back then, the seats are actually slightly different from 70 to 71 to 72. And classic cruisers, they're within a day's drive of me so I could drive up and get this, get the parts. I wouldn't have to pay shipping. And uh, they had a they had a good one. It was in really good shape. It was easy to restore. And while it wasn't cheap, I was able to drive up there and go get it, which saved me the shipping charges. And so that's my advice is find a salvage yard. Oh, I should also point out that Classic Cruisers sells um, the beginners. So they sell uh, used land cruisers that you can use for the beginner beginning of a restoration package. They also do their own restorations. So restoration work. So it's time to recap and um, we'll go back to where we started which is if you have a question don't be afraid to ask it at, at ihatemud.com. Don't forget when you're um, buying things that regular everyday stores have things that you need like uh, Walmart will have your car battery and O'Reilly or Napa will have your uh, windshield wipers. Uh, eBay and um, Amazon are good for generic auto parts. Toyota Parts Steel is a good place to um, get OEM factory parts, regular Toyota parts. If you need something you can't get there, look at Spectre Off-Road or at Cool Cruisers of Texas. They both have uh, good stocks. They also both sell used, car used parts. City Racer. And um, there you go. We're done. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching the video.